Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. So let's talk about my top Sephora purchases of 2023. It was initially supposed to be 10, but as you know, I am very indecisive and couldn't quite just pick 10. So I have a few honorary mentions that I'm going to do at the end of the video. So stay tuned for those. If you like this kind of video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, you guys. And also make sure you are subscribed. A lot of you guys will watch my videos and not be subscribed. So take a quick second to subscribe. Hit that little bell so it lets you know every single time that I upload. I would greatly appreciate it. And I would love to have you here in my little corner of the internet. But let's start off with skincare, you guys, because I only have a couple. And this one really stuck out to me because I have repurchased this six times you guys six times in 2023 i think says a lot for me personally um this dr jar poor remedy purifying mud mask is definitely top tier it saves me every single time i feel like my face just needs a little pick me up i need something to just pull and extract all of those impurities and gunk if you wear makeup normally like regularly you know that it is important to just really like get in there get all that gunk out because our skin is our biggest or organ it like absorbs everything so this definitely helps purify and detoxify that i would highly recommend this i haven't unfortunately been able to find it i like tj maxx or marshall so i will continue to repurchase it at sephora because it is that good i do not mind paying the nine dollars i know it's a lot for like a single use mask but it's good y'all and i literally notice a difference like my skin will be a lot smoother my pores will just be so much cleaner and like just so nice and you know skincare is where it starts if you have nice skin your makeup just looks so much better so along the lines of that it's not really like helping with texture but it does save my life time and time again when i try a new makeup remover as i have been lately and it doesn't really perform to the way i want it like i still have black under my eyes and things like that so this definitely saves my life this is a sephora collection triple action cleansing water this is basically a micellar i tried it randomly i think during like their spring sale i finished an entire eight ounce of it and now here we are working on the bigger bottle that i purchased a little bit after that but this is really good and also for the nights that i forget that i'm wearing makeup because i don't normally wear a full face every day i usually just wear mascara and brows and a lip product so sometimes i forget that i have that and if i'm not wearing a tubey mascara i will again have the black all over my eyes so this really comes in clutch and saves me time and time again but those are the only skincare products that i use from sephora this year now let's talk about setting spray because i personally am a huge believer of setting spray i think that that makes a huge difference these two right here have been game changers for me personally i discovered this sephora collection one because when the milk makeup one the 36 dollars one released i refused to pay 36 dollars for a setting spray like i'm so sorry about it even with the 20% off, it still doesn't sit right with me. But I don't know. I say that without trying it. Maybe once I try it, I'll say it's worth every penny. But as for right now, I tried this one. And this one is a 10 out of 10, you guys. It has a 16-hour wear, which I haven't tried. But I have done like a 10 to 12-hour day with it. And it's transfer-proof, sweat, and humidity resistant. And I truly stand by that. I wore this to the Garo G concert in conjunction to the Make It Last one. And it was top tier. And I've also worn it on its own after that as well. Because that part of me was like, wait, did the make it last? Is what made it last? No, this one on its own is so good. Definitely comparable to the Charlotte Tilbury. And top tier. So freaking good. And also a fraction of the price from the Milk one. If you, I haven't tried it. But if you've been wanting to try it and want a cheaper alternative from Sephora. This one's really good. And the Charlotte Tilbury one, very compatible to that what i think is even better than all of the ones that i've mentioned is this cali ray surf proof setting spray that i recently tried i bought this during the sale um the most recent one in a gift set and you guys this is so freaking good i cannot get enough of it i truly was shook because my makeup normally especially right here where my glasses lay i can set powder i can do the setting spray there will always be a little transfer like always the slightest very little to none with this setting spray and also of course the rest of my face how it lasted really really good like i said i've tried this 10 to 12 hours and normally i feel like i should mention i don't usually like carry powder with me to touch up i have fairly dry skin so i don't tend to get oily or have to carry powder with me that was so freaking good top top tier another discovery this year was skin tints skin tints for me i know that i've been a big fan of the wet and wild one i've gone through a full one and then i'm also on my way to finishing my second one but besides that one i've usually just been like a medium to full coverage girl 
not anymore y'all i've been converted to the skin tint and skin little moisturize tinted moisturizers all of that i love these two the fenty ease drop definitely packs more of a punch that you would think with like a tinted moisturizer so it has a little bit more coverage but it's still very long lasting it sits very nicely on the skin i'm pretty sure i wore this to the gato g concert i might have combined it with um the wet and wild one but i feel like for sure because i grabbed i had this before i got this this one i wore it for sure to the rbd concert which was like a month later so freaking good they both lasted through both concerts gato g was super hot i was shaking that ass or pretending to be able to shake my ass but it was really nice they were both very long lasting <laughs> not me just got little being yeah i was shaking my ass but you know it's gato g you're gonna fucking dance scream jump yell all the damn things the concert here in san antonio was massive i think there was like thirty six thousand people in the building and like you felt that shit like it was hot it was it was a vibe though i loved it it was my first concert ever no regrets rbd was also a vibe but definitely a smaller venue i didn't sweat as much but this is very long lasting i've obviously worn it after that and it has lasted through this texas heat because we will be cold one day hot the next my blinds are never this low because i love the natural light but the light keeps playing me today like it's sunny and then it'll get cloudy and then just back and forth all day so anyway cream bronzer has been something that i now before i would use it if i wanted to like be extra like you know i would just do it like oh i'm feeling real extra today i don't want to just do powder i want to layer cream now it's becoming a part of like my makeup routine just in general this tower 28 sculptino in the shade getty is so nice i love the undertone i love a good warm bronzer but not too warm to where it leans red i think this is just the perfect shade for me um i would highly recommend this it's fairly affordable at sephora i'm gonna do my best to list all of these products in the description bar but don't quote me i sometimes forget and it's kind of a hassle to list everything and sometimes i forget it so hopefully i remember hopefully um or just leave a comment and i will try to remember to do it so another cream bronzer that i've been loving is this give beauty one and this is in the shade toasting i love this one especially because it comes with the powder one i love a two for one i love a good palette i know that people are turned off by like face palettes and things like that but duels i think are a little bit different and very useful in my opinion i love having them both in one i'm very indecisive when it comes to like picking what makeup i want to wear um and so this just like eases it for me like i'll be like okay boom i have primer then i need foundation and then i'm like wait what cream bronzer but then like what powder one am i gonna set it no i don't have to think about that i will say it is very scented i don't smell it once it's on my face but holding it here in front of my face i can smell it so if you mind that i would suggest going into sephora and giving it a sniff just to see whether it'll bother you or not or whether you can get past it but other than that the formula is top tier gwen the shit is bananas because it's good <laughs> that was so corny <laughs> but i'm gonna leave it in because who cares this is me but anyway let's talk about rare beauty because rare beauty i have tried i think maybe one product that i don't like from her and i think it's her brow products before she did the reformulation and the relaunch so who knows now i haven't tried the new ones the old ones were very waxy very I didn't like it at all but this highlighter in the shade exhilarate is very nice it is what i'm wearing on my face you can definitely go super subtle or a very like boom in your face i love the formula it is very nice and very affordable for again considering the fact that they're in sephora they're fairly affordable i would highly recommend it i want to grab another shade i think it's called mesmerize and that's like the wider tone one this one is definitely like a champagne gold i will swatch it here i realize that i haven't been swatching anything but sometimes that takes so much time you know um but it definitely packs a punch it's almost like the color of my skin so when the sun hits me it just looks like i'm glistening and i love it i absolutely love it i for sure wore this to the garo g concert because i've been wearing it non-stop then moving on these are three mascaras but i'm gonna count it as one because technically it's like one category right so the tower 28 you guys know how i feel about this mascara i featured it in my last favorites video and i can't get enough of it i'm gonna show you guys the wand of each of these so you guys can get um an idea of how they're going to work for you so this is definitely a curved wand that's really going to grip your lashes and help them lift i have said before that my lashes do not hold a curl like even right now they're falling like i curled them initially when i put on mascara 
but they're getting a little straight and they'll end up just like either being straight or down they never curl but this helps with that this really does help it's also a tubing formula so all you need is warm water to wash this off of your eyes and honestly i don't know what's taking me so long to try a tubing formula because y'all they're a dream they're a dream to take off on those days like i just said at the beginning of the video when you forget that you're wearing makeup warm water yeah it's gone it's all that is the best and it's honestly chef's kiss another mascara that i've been obsessed with is this tartlet uh, mascara by Tarte. I believe I bought this on the site um, on Sephora, but it could have been, I don't exactly remember, but you can purchase it at Sephora, so I wanted to mention it. This is also a tubing formula. The one is a little bit different, a little bit more flexible. As you can see here, like it can definitely curve and move to where you want it. It has those tiny little bristles to get right in the inner corner or also the ends because sometimes I kind of forget the ends and I'm like oh shit these right here don't have any so this is super flexible it does get into all those little hairs um, or lashes but again the formula top tier because it does not you don't struggle to take it off warm water is all you need and it literally just slides off this one right here is the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara they have another volumizing one that I always confuse it with I had to make sure it was a limitless one this one is so good this one is a little bit different from the other ones it's not a tube of mascara so you are going to need an actual makeup remover to take it off but it's so good y'all i want to see if i can get you okay there you go you see how the bottom is longer than the top so essentially you apply the mascara with the short one to like get it on there and then you like comb through with the bigger side to really get into like all of those um, I normally don't even really be thinking about it you guys I just kind of go like this and it does give my lashes a lift but like I said you do have to use a regular makeup remover to get this off because if you forget about it and you just go in the shower or do your regular face wash you will have the darkness around your eyes and I wanted to mention that I don't want you guys to try it and then be like but you said it was so good it is but you just need to remove it with the actual makeup remover so what's on my lips right now is a summer Fridays lip balm in the shade vanilla beige i always have to double check myself because i'm like if i say it wrong <laughs> i feel so bad but anyway this shade is so beautiful i will swatch it here on the back of my hand next to the rare beauty it has just the perfect tint of color you can wear it on its own i did have a lip liner on earlier today but i've been drinking water i have been you know just kind of living life here um at home and just like you know things gradually just wear off so i feel like most of my lip product now is just a lip balm and I just think that it gives you like a pretty wash of color again you can pair it with any like lip liner by itself with the lip gloss it's gonna work it's so good obviously you can just wear it as a regular lip balm throughout your everyday life but I would highly recommend it and I really 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 enjoy this and it's so good I was definitely surprised because I've been seeing this on Instagram I'm not really on TikTok like that but Instagram which is basically turning into TikTok um the girlies love this and I see why it is so good and I really 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 enjoy this then I also recently tried this I say recently but I mean like within the year this is the Danessa Myricks yummy skin uh, blush in the shade Julie B I keep I keep reading it because I keep saying Jolly B y'all like I don't even know if I'm just hungry but if you've had Jolly B then you know let me know down in the comments below if you've had Jolly B but I'm definitely gonna swatch this for you guys because you are going to see the beautiful tone. I think it's perfect for the summer, which is I think when I bought it, but also perfect for the fall. Like this is the perfect, like just terracotta, orangey. Don't be intimidated by the punch that it packs. You can definitely shear this out or build it. So that's what I love about Janessa Myrix. I believe the founder or owner and CEO, I don't even know what she is, but the I'm pretty sure it's the owner. She's a woman of color. And so companies like that always do a great job of being like inclusive and i love that more companies need to get on that and i i love this i love this thank you danessa because we needed this and it's so freaking cute and you can definitely like sheer it out if you just want like a wash of color or like i said build it up it blends really nicely and it lasts a really long time i love it so 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 much so honorable mentions now these two are honorable because I didn't technically purchase these because they were free with the Sephora gift. I have another Danessa Myricks product to talk about here that I've actually already used up. So this is a little mini of their um, Universal Blurring Palm. It's a blurring palm powder. It's basically just in my, I use it as a primer. I know that people 
where there's foundation colors which i'm kind of curious about but this is a primer it's top tier it lasted a pretty long time i wore this under my makeup for the G concert and it was so smoothing so blurring very very good and sometimes i would pair it with the glow recipe which is also like a skincare slash like makeup hybrid and this is the strawberry smooth aha and bha um salicylic salicylic serum so these two by themselves or in conjunction are top tier again they're honorable mentions for a reason because i haven't they're not technically like full size or anything like that but i did use them several times and they're really good i love how smoothing they are on my skin and i will definitely well i've already purchased another little one of these and i'm contemplating purchasing one of these but it's so expensive i think the full size is 36 dollars but again based off of what i've used it is so good i think this had six grams as you can tell the size it's not like a little amount of it it's, it was a decent size and i really enjoyed every time i use it as a primer then i also wanted to shout out my under eye powder that i love this is the lys triple fix translucent setting powder in the shade resilience this is just a regular translucent powder that i love and i just think it's so smoothing it's not too powdery because sometimes like i said my skin is more on the drier side and my under eyes tend to get really dry this definitely just help them helps them look as normal as possible because the dryness sometimes unfortunately is inevitable for me so i love this stuff it's really good as you can tell i've made quite a dent and i really really enjoy this and then also another powder that works for my dry skin is this sephora collection micro smooth it's technically a multitasking baked face powder I was pretty sure this was like a powder foundation, but I guess it's a multitasking powder. I have this in the shade 25. I've recently ordered like a lighter shade to potentially just use it under my eyes. And then I had a, another darker shade that works when like it's summer and things like that. So I would highly recommend this. Again, I've already made a dent on this. Love, love, love it. And I think that is it, you guys. I, I could go on and talk about other products that I purchased from Sephora. But that is all for you for today, you guys. I will see you guys in my next one. Again, if you like this kind of video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.